Hey, it's Eric G. Around the House is sponsored by Baldwin Hardware. For 75 years, Baldwin Hardware has been known for its first class quality and craftsmanship in door and cabinetry hardware. As an alumnus of the Baldwin Hardware Design Council, I can say I have seen the details and quality from design to the finished product. If you're looking for a new style and old world craftsmanship, I can tell you there is only one Baldwin Hardware. Check out what would look great in your home at baldwinhardware.com. It's Around the House. When it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know, but we got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome to the Around the House show. This is where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Thanks for joining us today. Happy midweek special, everybody. And man, it's been a week. On Saturday's show, I'll talk a little bit more about it, but... Uh, Tell you what, it was crazy. Last Friday, I was getting ready for uh, for a TV shoot in my backyard. Going to put in a little piece of fence in an area of the yard that I don't use a lot, and uh, just to close it off right there. And sure enough, what do I do? I step on a yellow jacket's nest, and uh, you know, twenty plus bites slash stings, whatever you want to call it. Later, yeah, that that was not a great weekend. Last weekend, just healing up, getting ready for that, and course i find out i'm a little bit allergic so but uh i am back to uh doing well uh probably 80 percent now so uh just got to get that last little bit of venom out of my body and i'll be a happy person so that was uh we'll talk about that on the show on saturday so uh don't want to miss that one and speaking of new shows that have dropped uh episode one of our uh, around the house insider the exclusive episodes, this is over an hour, and I sit down with Jeff Tracy, the cowboy cook, and he actually interviews me and talks about my history. How did I get started? Some of the good decisions I made along the way and some of the really horrible ones I did as a young kid. You'll hear all that and so much more in a one-hour special episode. And how you can find that is just uh, you can take a look over to Around the House online. You can join over there. It's 4 bucks. And uh, tell you what, four bucks, it's uh, cheaper than the beer at happy hour. So uh, have some fun with that and see what you think. A uh, little of my history. And uh, you can hear kind of the stuff that, uh, I mean, it's part of my history. I can't put it all in an hour, but uh, it's enough uh, enough to give you some background to how I got to where I am today. Next up here, I wanted to talk about the plethora of recalls out right now. And I tell you what, there is a ton of them that have dropped in the last week or two since we've covered it last. So here's a big one, and this is a healthy issue for you. FXI recalls Nova Foam, Comfort Grande, and Dreamway mattresses sold at Costco due to risk of mold exposure. It looks like the mattresses could have been exposed to water during the manufacturing process, allowing mold to develop and posing a health risk to individuals. So... If you have a Nova Foam mattress, contact Costco that you got there. About 48,000 of those things sold. So that's an important one there. So be very careful. The next one, DR Power Equipment recalls DR Power Chipper Shredders due to a laceration hazard. So uh, pieces of metal can come loose from inside the shredder housing and be ejected. Wow, that's not good. Posing a laceration hazard. We do not want to see you know, shredders coming apart and coming through the housing. That's never a good thing. So do not use the 5,900 of those or the 90 of you the bottom in Canada. Be very careful there. Contact uh, drpower.com for that one. The next one up here, which is a big one, is um, Generac recalls portable generators due to serious fire and burn hazards. Um, The recalled generator's fuel tank can fail to vent adequately from the rollover valve, causing the gas to build up excess pressure and expel fuel when opened so it can shoot fuel out of them. There's about 64,000 of those. Get a hold of Generac uh, for the free repair kit. Next up, American Honda recalls lawnmowers and pressure washers due to injury hazard. The improperly manufactured camshafts in the engine can cause a starter rope to suddenly retract when pulling start posing an injury hazard. There are 391,000 of these things. So I need to contact an authorized 
Honda Power Equipment dealer to schedule an appointment for a free inspection and repair. So that might need a, uh, a repair on that. That's about 391000 So there's a lot of those. So that is how you do that. Next up, steel chainsaws recalls the MSA 300 chainsaw due to laceration hazard. The chain can take longer to break than expected, posing a laceration hazard. So uh, there's a free replacement of the brake drum and brake band. Only about 2,800 of those. So as you can tell, there's a lot of these. And how do I find all these just for you guys to know out there? I go to cpsc.gov here in the U.S. And that gets us on to that one here. And then uh, that's most of them. That's the big stuff right there. A lot of bicycle things. If you're a bicycle person out there, there's uh, Shimano parts. There's Pirelli tires. There's a lot of different parts out there that are being recalled. And so uh, be careful there. And uh, that's most of the ones that I'm seeing today for the uh, for our recalls. Other than that, everything else seems to be pretty pretty normal out there with the with the mix uh, of stuff that we've covered along the way. But uh, be really careful there. So now that we're getting into fall, man, I hope everybody's doing well. We just got nailed last night here in the Pacific Northwest with rain and uh, thunder and wind. It was a nice little storm last night. So time for me to go out and take a look and see what we have outside and see what's happening because there are so many different things out there that I tell you what, um, there's a lot of damage that can happen out there from water. So it's a good time of year right now if you're in your wet season to go walk around the house and see what's going on. All right, everybody. Well, I got to run down. I've got a nice, cool, fun meeting today, as well as an interview with the Oregon Manufactured Housing Association. that will be coming up for another show. So I'm going to be down talking to the leadership there and talking about how manufactured housing can actually be a great affordable option for people out there. So stay tuned for an episode coming up on that because we, I really want to see if we can figure out some of our affordable housing problems that we have out there and uh, build them in a factory where they can crank them out and be super efficient with materials and get people into a home that uh, is comfortable and safe for them, I think is important. Uh, is it going to solve our our homeless problem? No, because our homeless problem, generally speaking, at least in my area, is um, a majority of those people uh, need mental health care and or drug treatment first before we start putting them into homes. But we still need affordable housing for families and people out there that are just trying to make ends meet. And I think this is a good option that people have not been looking at, especially with the quality that's being built today. Quite frankly, I've seen some spec builders out there that are national ones that uh, aren't building as good of houses as what these guys are building today. So there are some options out there that people should be taking a look at. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the week. Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody stays safe out there. And uh, we'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for tuning in to Around the House. Somewhere unseen and undiscovered is a love song let's be lovers we're all over the radio take my hand i know where to go all over the radio with you hey it's eric g from around the house are you planning a decking or siding project this year if you are you've got to check out my friends at millboard millboard is a completely different kind of composite decking and cladding that enhances outdoor spaces with enduring distinction. Hand molded from the finest oak, it realistically mimics the natural grain and color of premium hardwood. If you're looking for something that doesn't look like plastic and instead real wood, check out millboard.com. Make sure and check out that interview we did just a few weeks back. That's millboard.com.